The only thing better than one python is two pythons. And today we're gonna to be checking out the old versus the new. The old classic versus a new classic. And we're gonna see how it goes. Today it's gonna to be a tale of two pythons and it's gonna be fun. Thanks for joining us here on Shoot of the Series. My name's Ed Thorell, and it's a very special day that we have here at the Mystery Range. And we finally get a chance to do our comparison and contrast of the old Python with the new Python. Uh, we also have a new feature on the show, Scruffy the Guard Dog. So if you hear him in the background, he's just on the clock. Anyway, uh, back to the Colt Pythons. Um, it's, it's a big day for us, and we've really been looking forward to this for a long time. And uh, we want to give you a little bit of background on the new versus the old. The, the old was actually created in 1955, which is well before I was born. And they uh, had the python running up until about 2003, when the last uh, python left the uh, Colt factory. And then they stopped making them for several years. And it wasn't until about two or three years ago that they were reintroduced, and there's been a big buzz about the new Python. And we want to spend some time talking about some of the different features, how they're similar and how they're different, um, and, and give you a little bit of a heads up on what to look for if this is something you may want to acquire in the future. Um, physically, they look very similar. Um, they both weigh in at 42 ounces. Um, one of the differences you'll see right off the bat is that the old python is in the uh, old uh, blued steel and the new python is offered in stainless. So you've got a, a very different look between the new and the old. Um, it's also worth noting that uh, even though the design of the new python grips are slightly different from the old python grips, the frames are the same. So the grips are interchangeable. And if you wanted to get a reproduction of the old grips, those are available. But we want to talk about some of the physical redesigns that they've done to update the new Python, talking about the old versus the new. And uh, from this angle, you can see the back straps. The, the old back strap was serrated, and the new back strap is smooth. Um, I, I haven't spent a lot of time with the new Python. I don't know if it's going to affect how they grip. I personally, in my own belief, the serrations are going to give you a little bit more uh, control of the gun, but we'll have to see. Um, the other things we want to talk about are the hammers. So the hammers have been redesigned. The old Python has checkering on the hammers, whereas the new one just has serrations. And the, the hammer on the new Python is actually a little bit shorter. Um, I'm not sure if they did that so that there would be less of a bite in recoil. It might have been that the old hammers had a reputation for coming back and biting the web of the hand. Um, but for all intents and purposes, the Colt probably had a pretty good reason for wanting to make that hammer a little bit shorter. So they did. Um, the other thing I want to talk about is the sights in the frame. One of the things that uh, the old pythons had a complaint with was the sights were fairly fragile. And what they've done with the new python is they've actually beefed up the frame to give you 30% more of a cross section. So the frame is actually stronger on the top strap and it also gives it a better platform for mounting sights that are easier to service and remove. It's also worth, the, worth our time to talk a little bit about how they redesigned the triggers. The, the triggers are slightly different. You'll notice on the old Python that the face of the trigger has a little bit rounder contour, while the new Python has actually got a flatter face. They both have the same serrations on them, but there's a little bit different feel. Now, the other thing that we want to talk about is the sights. Now, with the old Python, they were actually pinned in place, whereas with the new Python, there's actually an Allen screw just above the muzzle that allows 
the front sight to be removed if for some reason you want to change it out or replace it. In addition to that, uh, there, there's quite a few differences on the internals. And, and we're not going to crack open the, the, the side plates of these guns to show you. But what we do want to mention is the fact that they've had uh, 40 years to redesign the internals. And what they've done is they've simplified the actions. So there are several parts that have been eliminated in the new Python, meaning fewer parts means there's less things to break, it's easier to service and maintain, and with fewer parts, you're going to have less internal friction, which means you're going to have also a smoother action. One of the major redesigns that they did inside has to do with the spring. And the spring in the old Python is shaped like a V, whereas in the new Python, it's shaped more like a U. And this is going to give you a different feel when, when the trigger is actually activated. Um, one of the things that, that I've noticed in firing it is that because there's fewer parts, it is a very smooth action. So they were able to reproduce the smoothest of the action by doing a complete redesign. With the old Python, you can actually do what we used to call shooting from the stage where you can actually feel the cylinder lock up with a slight perceptible click. And that would be your cue to line up the sights. With the new Python, there is no perceptible click. So when it locks up, in a very short instance, it fires directly after that. So it's very important, rather than trying to use the technique of shooting from the stage, to shoot the new Python effectively you have to learn the length of the pull of the trigger, and you really have to get to know the gun to see when it's gonna feel the lockup and, and then get your sights lined up before you fire. So all in all, you've got a completely redesigned gun on the inside, but on the outside, they look very, very similar. And the only thing that's more fun than talking about the Python is shooting the Python. So stick around, we're gonna run some rounds through it and we'll be able to give you kind of a play-by-play -play, uh, impression on how they feel. All right, well, I've got both Pythons loaded up and uh, I just wanna start with the old one first because it's an old friend and uh, just wanna see how this goes. Of course, we're losing, using magnums here because why not? This may not be my best pattern here, but it is what it is, and I'm just happy to be out here. All right, there's six. That one's safe and clear. I've got the other python all loaded up, and let's see how this one performs. Well, I can tell you already, I like the sights better. More visibility. Boy, it's, it's, it's a very quick release on that. Once you get it lined up, this thing just wants to shoot itself. So it's really important you learn how to learn the throw of the trigger rather than try to shoot from the stage. But I can tell you already, I really like the sights a lot better. They're a lot more visible. That one got away from me, but it is what it is. All right, that was fun. And it was so much fun. I don't see any real reason to stop. Um, I really like the, the new Python. Um, the action is silky smooth. Um, the trigger is consistent. It seems to have a little bit of stacking, meaning it seems a little bit heavier at um, the end of the stroke than necessarily at the beginning of the stroke, but I mean, that's forgivable. Winged it.
As far as shootability, this thing, I would say, really, it, I'd say it shoots just as well as the old Python. And I like the sights a lot better. Um, for me, I could really feel the difference in the trigger with the flat face. Um, it just seems a little bit more sensitive than uh, the round face on the old one. Uh, the grips are a little bit different. Um, it's a little bit slimmer grip. You can get a little bit more hand on it than you could necessarily with the old Python grips were a little bit larger. Um, all in all, this is a great shooter. Um, I really wanted to run the Magnums through it because this thing was really designed for Magnums and you guys all like the bigger boom anyway. Um, I think that this is going to be a new classic and I really think that Colt hit this one out of the park. Um, I think that anybody that bought one of these would not be disappointed. You're getting a good value. Uh, the new ones are going to be a whole lot less expensive than trying to buy one of the classic old ones. And I can't say enough good things about this. Um, and since we're having so much fun here and there's a couple more rounds, um, I say why not just burn up what we got and uh, have a little bit more fun with it. Unless there's some object objections from you. I just want to try a couple here in single action just because I can. And that gives us just a little bit of a, a reference for what the trigger feels like. Yeah, the, it's silky smooth in, uh, in single action too. I mean, I have absolutely no complaints with this gun except for the fact that I have to return this to the person I borrowed it from. Anyway, this is a really good shooter, and I've had a lot of fun uh, comparing the old Python to the new Python, and I think this is a real winner. Um, if you like the show and you like what you saw, uh, go ahead and hit the like, the share, and subscribe. It really helps us out. And on behalf of the, the, the staff of Shooter the Series, y'all take care.